have about half a million maps and about 20,000 books and atlases in the collection. The collection here spans about 500 years. The earliest map is a tiny little world map published in 1525, and we collect all the way up to the present day. Some of our most heavily used maps are maps of New York City. All told, the New York City collection is, is tens of thousands of sheet maps that represent the city across a variety of themes. And within that are fire insurance maps. These are maps that document the city at the building level. You can see on this map cultural features like churches, livery stables, and a color coding system that indicates, in this case, this is a wooden framed building. Uh, the pink is brick or stone. One of the most important parts of the collection is that you can see this transformation of landscapes moving across time, and that's a really exciting thing. There's a rich uh, tradition of cartographic art. Back in the 18th century, there were cartographers who would do hand-drawn maps, um, engravers who would put that image onto a, a plate. There were people who, would, who were master printers who would run it through the press and check its quality. There were colorists who would hand color the maps. So notice the artistry here within the black line work. This was all done in reverse into copper uh, and then printed in black on this page. Uh, later this map was hand colored by a separate artisan. We have about 60 manuscript and early photographic process maps from General Daniel Butterfield, who was a major general in the Civil War. And these are field maps. These are maps which were actually used in the service of fighting the Civil War on the Union side. Included in that collection are hand-drawn maps on graph paper, lots of notations. So what we're looking at here is the network of roads, topographic information, rivers, this is Snow Hill, locations of different mills, springs, and then some symbols which represent the different brigades covered by different generals. These are maps that were used in the field by generals. And to be able to come in and actually touch that same map, that is a powerful connection you make through that object to an important moment in history. Maps have a huge potential in the digital world. When we digitize maps, we bring to light universes of other information that are related to these places. Every place name on a map gives us a little clue, a little breadcrumb, a little thread by which we can then go explore. People want to uncover where they are in the world. But maps show us something that oftentimes is gone and they relate us to a long arc of history, sometimes at a very specific level. Uh, so they place us in both space and in time.